All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation four to the power of x squared over two to the power of x is equal to eight. So the only variable I'm solving for and the only variable that's in this equation is x. Now for my solution, I'm going to first start by writing my equation down here. So I have 4 to the power of x squared over 2 to the power of x is equal to 8. And what I'm first going to do is start by rewriting 4 here as 2 squared. So I have 2 squared to the power of x squared over 2 to the power of x is equal to 8. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x squared is going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times x squared. Now this over 2 to the power of x is equal to 8. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 2 to the power of 2x squared over 2 to the power of x that's going to equal 2 to the power of 2x squared minus x, and this is equal to 8. Now 8, I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of 3. So now another property of exponents is that if I have something in form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. In other words, if the bases of two expressions are the same, that means the exponents are equal to each other as well. So now I have 2 to the power of x squared minus x is equal to 3. And if I subtract 3 on both sides, I get 2x squared minus x minus 3 is equal to 0. So now to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 2, b is negative 1, and c is negative 3. So I get x is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is negative 3. And I have this all over 2a, so 2 times 2. So now this is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 24 over 4, which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 25 over 4, which is equal to 1 plus or minus 5 over 4. So now this gives me two solutions. I get x equals 1 plus 5 over 4, and x equals 1 minus 5 over 4. So for x equals 1 plus 5 over 4, I get x equals 3 over 2. And for x equals 1 minus 5 over 4, I get x equals negative 4 over 4, which is negative 1. So now, going back here, I have 4 to the power of x squared over 2 to the power of x equals 8. So I'm going to check these two solutions. So I'm going to first start with negative 1. So if I plug in x for negative 1, I get 4 to the power of negative 1 squared over 2 to the power of negative 1 is equal to 8. So 4 to the power of negative 1 squared is the same thing as 4 to the power of 1 because negative 1 squared is just positive 1. And 2 to the power of negative 1 is 1 over 2. So this turns to 4 times 2 is equal to 8, and 8 is equal to 8. Now I'm going to check x equals 3 over 2. So I have 4 to the power of 3 over 2 squared over 2 to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to 8. So 3 over 2 squared is 9 over 4. So I have 4 to the power of 9 over 4 over 2 to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to 8. So now to solve this, 4 to the power of 9 over 4 is the same thing as 4 to the power of 9 to the fourth root. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to rewrite this as 2 squared to the power of 9 over 4 over 2 to the power of 3 over 2. So now, let me rewrite this over here. Two times nine over four is 18 over four. So I get two to the power of 18 over four over two to the power of three over two is equal to eight. So now I get two to the power of 18 over four minus three over two is equal to eight. 18 over four minus three over two is equal to three. So I get two to the power of three is equal to eight and eight is equal to eight. So this is right.